All right, Virgo, let's get into this reading. See what else is showing up here for you beginning now through the rest of January. Okay. All right. So you're starting with health. Health issues could arise. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel or have been here and know um, how I usually do my videos, I have changed my reading format. So I'm separating it into four different chapters for YouTube. Okay. So it's kind of like getting four separate readings in one reading. Okay. So if it doesn't coincide with the next one, it's not meant to. It could, but it's not necessarily meant to. Okay. So it's kind of like four separate readings. Okay. You've got health. You have the hanged man. You have the eight of wands, which is good news. So, um, right off the bat, health issues could arise, but you're going to get good news about some health issues that you might be dealing with in January or something could come up, you know, and a health issue could come up. And I don't usually do health readings, but looks like we're going to have to. A health issue might arise in January, but the eight of wands is always good news. Okay. So I do feel like whatever issue shows up here, you'll be waiting either for test results or some type of uh, result, um, or to hear back maybe from a physician or something along those lines. Um, not telling anybody about it, Virgo. Not saying anything. You're not telling anybody that you've got this thing going on. <clears throat> you might be thinking it's the worst case scenario. You might be doing a lot of MD, <laughs> web MD, doing a lot of searches to try and figure out what is this? What is this? Where is this coming from? Um, but not saying anything, doing a little like secret investigative or just keeping it to yourself, not saying anything yet until either you get some test results back or you get whatever the news and it's going to be good news. So I don't feel like you need to worry if a health issue, if you're currently dealing with something right now or something comes up that you're just going to have to be patient and wait until you hear back about. Okay. So this is not love. This is not romance. This is just strictly life issues. Okay. So let's see what else is coming up. All right. So mm, it's funny because I was just looking at this moon on the high priestess. Um, and immediately, I don't know why, but it just brought me to say something about the eyes. Something about the eyes. Okay. And then I see this. <laughs> And I'm like, oh yeah. So for some of you, it, it may have something to do with your eyes. Right now I'm having a problem with my eyes. I feel like this is not clear. What's going on? There we go. So I do, look, it's it's your orbits. There's something going on. Maybe you're gonna get an MRI. <laughs> There's something going on with the eyes. You're, you might have some visual disturbances here. Um, you know, I'm not an, an, an ophthalmologist or anything, so I don't know anything about it, but I'm just looking at these waves. Maybe there's a migraine of some sort coming up or something like that showing up for you. I don't know why my camera is not, there's something wrong with the lens. Um, yeah, so it could be something to do with your eyes. It could have something to do with your reproductive. Um, it, it could be reproductive things going on. Um, anything where there's two of something. So two of something could be like kidneys. It could be lungs. Um, where there's two organs or two of, uh, two of something that's very similar that are the same. Okay. Let's take a look and see what else is going on. For some of you, you might have an EKG and the doctor's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That could have something to do with like these PQR waves, something along that line as well. Um, yeah. Okay. But again, like I said, I feel like everything's going to be okay. <laughs> the verdict will be in your favor, Virgo. That's justice. Yep. There might be like a legal issue. This might be attached to some kind of legal issue. So maybe like a work thing. Um,
Yeah, they're saying like some kind of legal thing. And since you're getting justice, like it could have something to do where it, the health thing involves the courts, perhaps. But I'm just kind of feeling like um, as far as your health goes, I feel like everything's going to be okay. I, I just They just are telling me that everything is going to be okay with this. All right, let me see here. Okay, got the Queen of Cups. Some of you might have like a worry or concern that you have to take medicine. Um, might be a concern about that. Like, oh, I'm going to have to go on this medicine for the rest of my life. Um, they're not saying whether you will or not, but I do see that you, you may be looking into some kind of medicine or something. Something that goes within. Yeah, there you go. That's like the pharmacist giving you the medicine or the chemist. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is totally turning into a health. I'm not going to predict any specific health issues and I, I just can't, but I do feel like Virgo, um, you might look into like alternative medicine as well. If you have to take something, um, look at this. You've got all, you've got three nights. This is definitely a movement. Oh, uh, you might just be like, you know, is, do I have to like, do I need to use a syringe? Is it going to be a liquid form? Is it going to be a tablet form? That's kind of like the message that I'm picking up here. So I do feel like um, you're not opposed to it, anything that will help you. Um, I, I don't. So basically, it's like the message is not there's no health issue. There is something. Um, but I do feel like it's not going to be as overwhelming as you think. You know what I mean? There may be like something that you need to do for it to correct it. Um, but I, I, I'm not picking up worst case scenario here. I'm picking up you possibly overthinking it too much and creating a mountain out of a molehill. Not that you shouldn't be concerned about your health. Of course you could, but you know, there is this energy of being reasonable. And I feel like there may be a physician or someone that you talk to or that you see who's going to be they're a little cold you know <laughs> there's they're a little lacking in compassion i mean they kind of they wear it on the outskirts of themselves so they do have that but they're very stern and very clinical this king of swords it feels like very stern and very clinical and uh, we'll give it to you straight we'll tell you the truth won't beat around the bush we'll tell you what you need to do here are your options here is what you can do. It's ultimately up to you, up to you how you want to deal with something. But I do feel like um, you'll consider all of the best ways to be able to handle this. Okay, so this King of Swords showing up is air. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius uh, could be that person. But I mean, who the heck knows what their doctor's, their physician's zodiac sign is. I mean, I've never asked <laughs> my own physician. I've never, hey, by the way. What's your zodiac sign? I mean, it couldn't hurt to ask. And even if they're not an air sign, it doesn't matter. This does represent someone who's quite clinical. Okay. Um, yeah. So I just feel like overall the message here, and I'm not going to go too deep into this because it really is just a health message, albeit important. Um, they may say, a physician may tell you that, you know, um, Perhaps a, a needle or a syringe of some sort might be involved in this, possibly. Um, but either way, you've got Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. You've got like a physician, physician's assistant, or you may be asking a lot of questions as well to um, whomever is giving you this information. I feel like there's going to be a lot of clarity. You may ask if there's anything you need to worry about. I feel like whoever you're going to, whoever's going to be handling you is going to be very clear and direct. It may involve surgery as well for some of you. Um, there will be some type of um, financing to help if needed. I just saw the page of pentacles and it flipped back in the deck, but I do feel like there will be... Um, As far as money goes or insurance, 
small copay um, or none or some type of you know um, assistance to help with it so it you know I am picking up like either a small surgery and or like it could be laser it because I'm getting a lot of swords energy here um, you know it could be it this could be the teeth as well you've got your eye teeth something to do with the eye teeth or maybe the molars you know anything in the body inwards or outwards you know our bodies are symmetrical if we cut right down the center we got the same on each side um, but there's only a few organs that are on their own so it's not those so it wouldn't be like the heart um, even though the ventricles are pretty similar because they're cutting they're into fours could have something to do with a ventricle but it wouldn't be like a one organ alone okay yeah picking up a lot of sword energy there may be there may be communication about some type of lens surgery maybe it's cataracts that comes up or um, something with the eyes yeah a lot of curiosity a lot of questions what is the most inexpensive way to handle this what are all the options like other in other words it's going to be um an issue that comes up but i do feel like it's going to be i was just seeing hold on yeah see there is we do have an ekg here so it could have something to do with an ekg maybe it's just like a stent or something like that for some of you um something in an artery or something like that okay just a couple more cards all right yeah there's the page of pentacles and that's what i was feeling like you know how am i going to pay for this there will be money there will be options there will be help you might decide well i'm going to hold off on surgery and if we could do it with like medication then we'll do that okay nothing serious virgo i don't feel like this is anything like it's not like a big deal i mean it's a big deal but i don't feel like it's you know major it's not major Okay, Virgo, so if this is something that you're dealing with right now or you feel like you know something's up, you got to get to the physician or something and you're fearful of going and finding out in case it's the worst case scenario, I feel like if you put it off and put it off and put it off, it'll turn into a worst case scenario. So you feel like it's okay. Now, understand that I'm not a physician. <laughs> And when you get to the doctor and the doctor says, if they say something completely different than what I'm here saying, do not say to your doctor, yeah, but my tarot reader said, because they're going to laugh at you. <laughs> Unless you have like, um, I don't know, an alternative type medicine physician of some sort. If you're going to an MD, they're really not going to like just listen to your physician wipe away what you hear from me and listen to your physician and if they tell you okay there's something else going on here you know okay it doesn't mean that i'm wrong it just means that i'm not a physician and what i'm seeing here is the message that i'm seeing and the overall message for you is don't get your knickers in a twist get yourself to where you need to be in a good place try not to stress too much um, take it like a little bit at a time. All right, Virgo. Next. All right, let's see. Whoa. What? Seriously, am I going to pull this? Because I just uploaded this commitment card and it's showing back up again. Let me see if anything else comes along with it to clarify. Because things are getting serious. Oh, okay. Intuition. air sign okay your intuition tells you that an air sign is going to commit to you okay let's take a look and see your intuition telling you virgo gemini libra or aquarius things are going to be getting serious with this person um <laughs> but it says the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later what the hell all right virgo well it cuts like a knife let me see, Virgo. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. Um, my light just kind of said we're not doing this right now. So I do feel like maybe this is something you don't want. I don't know, Virgo. 
Yeah. No, it's not that you don't want it. It's just that you might think that an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini comes with red flags. When there's a red flag, like there's a catch. You're, you're, you're looking for a catch, Virgo. That's what you're doing. Okay. That's, that's what you're doing. If you have a connection with a, a, an air sign... You you know, something it starts getting serious with an air sign, but at the same time, it's like, what are they up to? You're looking for the catch. You're looking for the red flags. Okay, why? Because I don't know. You're a wounded warrior here with this air sign. Okay, why? Oh, well, that really explains it. Look at that. Five of Swords. This person hurt your pride, perhaps said some things or said something that was kind of, you know, damaging. Yeah, they kind of have a, this, this um, verbal vomit of the mouth. The things they say just kind of just come right out and they don't really, uh, they're very, they lack tact. So they just say whatever they think. And sometimes they hurt people. Is that they can, you know, you, you can feel people feel very defeated by this person, and you do too. Yeah, look. Okay, so hmm. that doesn't change the fact that this person wants to get serious with you. It looks to me more like because I was asking why, because there you are, why you would be hesitant because you're. I don't know. I kind of feel like, Virgo, do you love this person? Like, what is the deal? We've had some good times with this person. You looked at this person like they could be someone you could count on. But you guys get in, like, there's some kind of argument. And things get said, and then it ends. And then there's this defeatist mentality. And then the red flags are like, oh, do I want to talk to this person? You do something about them, though, Virgo. But you don't trust them. Something about them. You have some kind of like, feel good about them. But at the same time, if they would just shut their damn mouth. <laughs> if they would just, if they would just temper their their words and be a little nicer not that Virgo like you're not exactly a softy but you're your worst critic like you nobody can criticize you better than yourself so when somebody else comes along and criticizes you that's like a double that's like a double criticism because you're already standing there doing that to yourself you know so when somebody comes out come else comes along to um kind of enforce how much you already feel bad about something that you didn't get right it makes it even worse um so i kind of feel like you know for somebody this could be like a lover of uh, this could be a father or a brother or an older son or daughter a friend you know um Yeah, okay. So with you, Virgo, it's kind of like, oh, shit. All right, is this person going to come back in and be the way that they were? Like, what is the deal? Is there any changes? Hmm. I think so. I think there's some changes. I think this person sees the light. They, they Like, this person, they, they act the way they do out of their own insecurity. That's why they criticize or why they say what they say, their ne negative thoughts. Like, I feel like this person is someone that, a bit like, um, they're very factual, very evidentiary. They lack the compassion, the empathy, the understanding. I don't feel like this person means to hurt you, but I don't feel like they realize, which doesn't make it like that you should put up with that but I don't feel like this person they tend to maybe see pick out all the flaws like they tend to be flaw based so what that really means is people are either fear based or love based 
you know, the opposite of love is fear, not hate, because that requires as much passion as it does love. Fear, hate comes from fear, so the opposite of love is fear. So I feel like this person is fear-based, really. However, they're seeing, they have ideals and things that they kind of like I feel like they put you on a pedestal believe it or not but I also feel like um when you can't live up to that because who could then they maybe criticize you for that not living up to their standard instead of just accepting you for who you are so is there is there going to be change I mean not I mean yeah a little because I feel like they're aware of this they might become more aware of it but awareness is only like the first step like are they gonna do anything about it i don't yeah i think what do you need to do because you're hesitant here let this person like oh what do you need to do oh okay sometimes a good card turns out completely different than what you expect um it look looks like you need to free yourself from this nonsense and this madness and just get back to the business of your everyday life yeah that's your advice here what you need to do is just free yourself and just get back to work just pay them no mind just kind of like let it just roll off your 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 back there anything that they say or do you got to let it roll off and don't be distracted you know even like these two cards like they're so very different you know this is like the person that goes to work every day and puts in the consistent effort and just does the daily grind and then this is like the the hippie wanderer that has no job and they're off roaming the world right that's not really you <laughs> and um i mean in some ways you kind of just have to like at, when it comes to this person act as if like nothing bothers you and then just get back to doing what you're doing i kind of feel like this person does want things to be serious with you, but you looks to me like you're hesitant. Like, yeah, I don't know. Nah, because you don't know how to reel it in. You don't know how to you don't know how to rein it in, those words or those things you say. Um, if you gotta have that conversation with that person, go ahead. But it looks like you're moving on um, from this relationship. I guess you've been burned before here. Ten of swords. I guess you've had enough. Maybe you don't feel safe with this person so yeah you need peace you're retreating i feel like that's your message here and i'm not telling you what to do but i do feel like um i mean you got to choose your battles right so i feel like if you're around someone that's always bringing you down or always putting you down or is always very negative around you um are finding fault all the time all the time um, you have to remove yourself from that person's energy like seriously because that can pretty much put you in depression and other various copious horrible things you know um, even if you love that person so you know whether I don't know like you have to maintain some kind of distance if you're around someone that's just constantly finding fault with you like oh my gosh that's awful you want to be around people who uplift you. That when you walk away from them, you feel better about who you are as a person. You know? People that want to give you praise and love your company and just are happy to see you and want to spend some time with you and vice versa. You know? So, if you're feeling like whoever this person is, I don't care what their issue is. I don't care what their issue is. I don't like there could be some kind of mental disorder there could be like a developmental problem whatever it is it's not for you to be the martyr and be a punching bag and take it if you don't feel comfortable or feel safe you got to make a, a choice you know it's like is, is it is it gonna be them or is it gonna be me because you know what I mean yeah that's your message that's pretty strong right there and this person wants to have a serious relationship with you yes whether that's romantic whether it's like bffs um family member coming back around or you just want wants to get close to you again or or 
wants to keep or maintain the status quo of the relationship, make it serious, like it's work very close, but your doubts are creeping up on you and your intuition's like, no, this person has way too many red flags. I'm going to like cut it off or just create some distance between me and this person for like ever. <laughs> then you do what you have to do. But I feel like that's what this message is about here for you. We got Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, another Virgo. Hey, Virgos can Virgos can get down with the criticism too, right? You know that, right? Virgos can do it too. So whatever their sign is, whatever the, it doesn't really matter. Maybe this is someone like a your co-parenting or your partner. You have a child together, um, or you're um, a mentor, someone that you're learning something from or is there training you for something, or you're training them, I don't know, whatever the relationship is, it could be connected to school, university, whatever it is, um, it could be a teacher, some of you might have a professor or a teacher, and it's like, man, no matter what I do, I'm not learning anything in this class, I'm just being berated, and no matter how good the paper is, I might as well just plagiarize, because they don't care, I'll never be able to pass their exam because they're fault finding and critical and I'm not learning anything. I'm being put down for being this, for being a student, for being um, subordinate, for being le less than. Yeah. Wow. Tough message, but you got to make a decision, Virgo. I mean, it looks like you're hesitant and you're keeping up your boundaries with this person, but um, I don't know. What are you going to do? You're going to free yourself? You know, like I said, um, you just, you can, if you decide to stay where you are because you have to and you have no choice, you got to find a way to let it roll off your shoulders, roll off your back. You know, you got to find a way to let that happen. You know, just not own it if you have to stay. If it's a job or something like that, you got to find a way to not take it personally. And especially if you can't retort, you can't give it back because then you risk losing your job. You may just have to like bite your tongue and just let it roll off and not take it personal um, until you can get out. But if you have an opportunity to just not be in this, then trust your intuition, follow your gut, and be true to your feelings. Let's see what else we have going. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, okay. You've got honeymoon. Honeymoon phase or attending someone's wedding. All right, let me fix my camera because I had a blooper and I purposely left that blooper in because that was hilarious. <laughs> All right, let me just put that there. Okay, you've got honeymoon. So what's going on? I know some of y'all were getting married yesterday. So I don't know, maybe you'll be on your honeymoon like right after, which is typical. Let me just see here. I want to give this a little bit of a sh a little bit of a better shuffle before we get into this. What is this honeymoon? We're attending someone's wedding. Honeymoon phase. So it's a phase. It's like a you know the honeymoon phase. It's just Honey, let's go to the moon. All right, yeah. There you go. The Hierophants. A Taurus. You might have a connection with a Taurus. We need to go, honey, somewhere where it's not cold. Um, you're going on some kind of a vacation. Or you're going on some type of trip with someone. Or they're spending some time together with someone. Taking off work. I know some people tend to take their vacations in January. Because it's like cheaper to go. Um... Is it? I don't know. Somebody told me that. Maybe not. But um, some people do. They take their vacation in January. They, they take an extended. But some of you are, are seriously like there is a message here of, you know what, honey? You know what, babe? Let's just go tie in the knot. Come on. Let's just go do it. All right. Let's see. Okay. Been waiting a really long time. Let's just go do it. We can't live like this anymore. I'm hearing. Okay, Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone's been thinking about this. Okay, Aries energy. Someone could be on the cusp of Aries, Taurus. Yeah, there's definitely 
Um, there's definitely like this joyous, happy phase happening in January. Going from feeling left out in the cold, um, having to put up strong boundaries, uh, someone feeling very hesitant and, and um, not sure, and then all of a sudden things switching around and somebody taking the lead or someone is just doing a lot of thinking and makes a decision. You know what? Let's let's do this. Let's just get married. Let's just let's just go for it. It's a Thelma and Louise off the cliff energy. Who gives a shit? Let's do it. That's what I that's the energy that I feel. Energy doesn't lie. Okay. Someone we've been waiting long enough. Okay. King of Wands could be for some of you, it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We've been waiting long enough. There's a reconciliation. You know what? <laughs> Someone pop in the question? I mean, I don't see like a romantic offer being made here. It just kind of happens. Um, you might even, there might even be like some vacation or getaway. You could, might go somewhere and meet someone and then <laughs> spend like a weekend or something with them. And then you guys like, instantly no like no let's do this we want to be together but it's someone you already know virgo because you have the six of cups here now for others this could be a little bit different where you find out that someone's doing this and you're attending their wedding you're asked to be the um a bridesmaid or a maid of honor or a best man or something along those lines or witness so for some of you it's happening to you and for others it's happening for someone else and you're a part of it and for some of you you go to someone's wedding and you meet someone there I will say that or you reconnect with someone there okay that actually flipped out in reverse so you got the seven of wands Wow Virgo Sagittarius energy there um, hmm. show a Virgo why the seven of wands is here Virgo you're kind of like no <laughs> I don't want to I'm not doing this <laughs> Kelly what are you talking about no I'm not doing this <laughs> I was like, you guys are like, no, this is crazy. This is too crazy. I'm not doing this. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm busy. I'm not answering the phone. Don't talk to me. I'm not doing this. This is like, this is cuckoo stuff. Okay, Virgo. So if you're not going to do it, that's fine. Don't do it. But <laughs> you push, you definitely, you're, you push back a little bit here about the whole idea of this. And, um. You're like, you know, just just give me some space. I, I need to I need to go figure this out because I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, Virgo, okay. Yeah. I'm free, free falling. Yeah, you're a fool. You look at somebody like, are you crazy? You're a fool. I'm not marrying you. We're not getting married. I'm not doing that. This is too off the cuff. It's so spontaneous. But you know what, Virgo? <laughs> I don't know. I don't usually like, well, it doesn't matter what I think. It really doesn't. I, I feel like you should. I feel like you, I, it almost, they're giving me this sense of like, this is something maybe you've been waiting for. And then it comes and you're like, no, ew, no. <laughs> you're like maybe the Virgo that like chases someone. And then as soon as they stop running, turn around to face you, you're like, ew, stop chasing me. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> You've been wanting this. That's what I see. Now, if I'm wrong, that's fine. I, I can. I'm all, I'm all right with being wrong about you not wanting this. But I don't know. Someone who's being really honest with themselves as they're listening to this deep inside is, is their inside is saying yes, but their outside is saying no. But I'm not talking to your outside. I'm talking to your inside. And your inside's like, oh, I want to be. I want to be that person that's spontaneous. But I. It doesn't feel right, but I want to be that. And I want to just be a fool and just take off and 
just go with my lover. I, I've been waiting for someone to come along. If somebody comes along and, you know, I don't know, Virgo, maybe, you know, it's not quite exactly what you ordered. <laughs> you know, maybe they put pickles on your burger and you said no pickles, but now you're getting pickles. But the burger is like half the price and it's really good. So what are you, what are you going to do? Choose your battles, right? It, it seems like... I don't know. I don't know why. Why is Virgo? Why would Virgo be resistant? Because oh, Virgo, you don't trust. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I'm not going to beat you up for that. That's fair. If you don't trust the person or if you don't trust the event, maybe you're ghosted or maybe somebody just kind of like you haven't talked to them in a really long time and they disappeared into the night. But at the same time, some of you might have been praying to have some type of reconciliation with this person or talk to them. Uh, we have Pisces here, Aquarius, Gemini. Maybe you wanted to talk to this person, and now they're coming up to talk to you, and it's like they're doing more than talking. They want to, like, tie the knot or just go into, like, some kind of wild happily ever after in just one weekend or the week. I mean... You got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The energy is is very fluent as far as our fluid, as far as just it wants to just like a, a breaking dam is how I feel like a dam breaking full of emotion. It's just very out of pocket. They're saying or maybe somebody says that that's a phrase somebody uses a lot out of pocket. It's very out of pocket but you're being asked to be spontaneous and go for it yeah you got some sweet love coming in Virgo some sweet fun no no not the sweet fun no no I'm gonna have to think like you're internally stressing internally stressing you won't show it on the outside you're you know you're walking around with your lantern and your light and you're like hey everybody happy everybody's positive here's the light hope that kind of thing um but you're internally stressing about this and why because you don't trust because you you know for some reason i don't know virgo i like i listen there you are over analyzing i just feel like you, you just need to just say yes and go and do it I feel like this was part of your reading the other day and it just keeps playing out january is like all about the love wait till february comes yeah virgo so you're, there's definitely travel love messages communication cupid's arrows coming in from someone in january this person is leaving behind other people or others or has left or will be leaving another person or just cutting others off and coming in your direction this person's seriously taking up um i want to say arms maybe they are in the military or something they come back from deployment of some sort um it's now or never is what i'm hearing so you connect with this person like i said it's some maybe you're at a wedding or this person like somehow in some place is just like come on let's do it Let's go for it. And it just kind of, like I said, it's very out of pocket. I feel like your one of your last readings that I put up was like shocking. There was some commitment coming in. It's just going to be shocking and just kind of throw you for a loop. And I don't know if they're still giving you the same message or if you have the specifics, if you're going somewhere. Let me see if I can find out exactly what sign this might be for someone. Uh, Libra. You could be reconnecting with a Libra. A Sagittarius and Libra again okay so a couple more cards and let's see how's this gonna turn out for Virgo do we even want to know we'll ask okay King of Swords two of wands and okay hmm well they're not really giving me the turnout except to say that um if this is an air sign or someone that's got air in their chart, like they're rising or their Venus or something, I mean, this person is, whatever sign they are, very serious. <laughs> they're very serious. About making plans, 
they're at this they're at a crossroad they're standing here they're like they got to choose a path now they're sick of carrying around the burden the heavy burden in their life they want to be with you i mean it's a good start i don't know virgo you only have one life left to live go enjoy yourself right Go, if you must, go have a weekend and go get married for a weekend and then file for divorce later if you want. Just go and have some fun. I can't even believe it's not me saying that. I would never advise that. But then again, maybe you need to. All right, I'm going to leave that there. All right, let's see what else you have here going on. Ready? Dun, dun, dun. Manifest. Beautiful. Tell the universe exactly what you want. Okay, Virgo. I'm going to make this one. We're going to make this happen. What does Virgo want? What does Virgo want? What does Virgo want? Hmm. I need a lover that won't drive me crazy. I need a lover. Oh, that's what Virgo wants. There you go. The lovers, the Ten of Cups. And Virgo wants to be able to recover from or have learned the lessons. Virgo, if you want a lover, you need to tell the universe. Actually, you don't even really need to tell the universe. It's not like a freaking um, DoorDash menu you're ordering. You need to let the universe know that you are acting as if you already have a lover. And then they're going to respond to you as if you do. That's how that works, right? When you act like everything's all right, everything is all right. Everything will be all right. You know what I mean? It's kind of like when they use that old saying in baseball, <laughs> just be the ball. You know what I mean? It's like you've got to be what you desire. If you want things to change, you have to act as if you already have those things. Because if you're always in a state of desire and want, you're never going to have that because you're telling the universe you don't have it, which is why you want it. Um, manifest this relationship, this love relationship, by acting as if you already have that person and not be suspicious or skeptical that you deserve it. Yeah, right? And everybody's like, oh, I'm single, I'm single. Well, who are you telling that to? If you tell the universe you're single, they're going to treat you like you're single. But if you tell, and this doesn't mean you need to like go around to the person that you have a thing for and you know act as if you are their partner <laughs> to everybody else this is something you do internally okay just got to say that to manifest yes if you want something different you must be different that's how that works if you want love you must be love if you want a relationship you must act as if you're already in the relationship like in, in yourself, within yourself. Do you know what I mean? If there's someone specific that you want to be with, um, just kind of inform your heart and the universe that you two are already together. Okay? But don't try to, don't try to manifest the person to come into your life because that's manipulation. However, you do that by tricks and spells. Okay. What else does Virgo want? Virgo wants the ring. Virgo wants true clarity and victory over obstacles virgo wants to be able to see and vision their ideas and plans either for business or making money or having accumulations material accumulations you might be working on a vision board or you may need to work on a vision board okay for the things that you want and that's really just to give yourself clarity to remind yourself it's like a little vision journal what else does virgo want all right, the end, out with the old and in with the new, and definitely a better 2024. Uh, and a romantic love offer to come in. Yes, I do feel like... <laughs> Look at this. Look at the similarity. You're tired of these dead-end relationships. You want the real thing. These are very similar cards. Um, this is the night of death. <laughs> this is the night of love. You don't want any more nights coming in that are just have dark hearts. 
like a dark horse. Isn't that a song by Katy Perry, Dark Horse? They just gave me Katy Perry. Then I'm gonna play with fire. I don't remember how it goes. Anyway, um, and that's not 80s. That's very 2008s, I guess, 2010. Um, I don't even remember. But yeah, so that's what you want. No more of these dead ends. No more of these shadow of relationships. These, sh It feels very shadowy and dark, you know? These ghosting type relationships, right? You want the real thing. I see you, Virgo. I see what you want. I see what you look, what you're looking for here. I'm just going to do a, a couple more things, and then I want to. I'm actually going to pull some charms for you in this reading. Okay. Some of you wish for a reconciliation with someone from your past, whether it's a lover, or a, a sibling, or a friend, to be able to talk to someone from your past. Or to have your memories, uh, the things you used to wish for, to have them come true. Some of you may have been thinking about that. Old wishes and dreams. They may be coming back up or asking yourself, what did I used to wish for? What did I used to hope for? Why have I lost my desire for that? Um, time to start manifesting those childhood dreams or memories or wishes that you used to have right? Um, so what does that mean for you, Virgo? It could mean anything. Um, some of you, maybe you wanted to be like an Olympic ice skater when you were a kid. Well, I mean, if you're 60, that's not going to happen, but you can get back out on the ice and start learning. I have always wanted to be a physics major, <laughs> always. And I'm telling you guys, I love physics, I love science, and I love math. And I just didn't go that far in my education. So I went and bought some, I'm starting all over from the beginning and I'm relearning all the math and I'm just gonna self-teach, take some online classes, do whatever until I get into where I need to be for physics, you know? It doesn't matter how old you are. You, you know, I, I'm not gonna go get a degree in that. I, like who can afford that anyway? But just to learn. So whatever you wanna do, <laughs> whatever you wanna do or whatever you wanted to do when you were young, just start doing it now. Just start doing it. Right? Some of you wanted to be rock stars, right? I get it. I have some friends who, you know, they played in bands. They wanted to be rock stars. And they went out and put all their effort and energy out. Some of them didn't make it to rock star status. Some of them made it to local. Some of them didn't even make it through life. But if you've gotten through all that, maybe you can just go and do it and do something different where you can somehow satisfy that urge for yourself. Something that you've always wanted to do. A uh, little bit of thinking about that. What can? What do I want to manifest in my life, right? Um, I love this stuff. Let's get into, I want to get some birth dates and initials and all that. And we have like a, about six minutes left to get into all that. All right. So someone's born in 1978. We have the initial Q. We have the initial C. Um, September 13th. We also have... Um, could be somebody's birthday, May 13th, 1978. Okay, what else? Alright, someone's born in 72. We have the initial I. Someone is 41. Someone is 55. Uh, 1988. August 31st. We have a... Oh, no, that's a 4. September 4th, uh, 1962, or age 62, 51. And we also have February. Let me just throw these around a little bit. So if I'm calling anything that resonates for you, definitely this will be your reading. Okay, 45. We've got January and May. So January through May. It's going to be like a really lucky time for you. And I know you guys, it, the first five months, almost six months, this first half of this year is like, you're going to be so astounded by how things go for you. It's going to be very, very positive. 1976, we have the 31st again, 56, 90, um, so they're just telling me 315, 
So I don't know what 315 means or 513. 67, 62, 53, and we have G. Um, I just heard somebody's going to do something with eggs, like a farm. Eggs. Oh, somebody just paid 315 for a gallon of gas. I just heard. 315 for a gallon of gas. Whew. Okay, we also have 58. We have a lot of numbers happening. 73, uh, September 18th, 63, September 4th, 42. Okay, initials CT or TC. Somebody's getting a CAT scan. LCT, T, a little TLC. <laughs> Don't go chasing waterfalls. Uh, 1990, I said 1967, July, and someone's born in July, someone's born in December. All right, let me see if I can get some names here. I'll just make a few names. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Because I creep, yeah. Alright, let's see. Okay. We've got Tate. First name, last name. Tate. They just said Tate. Someone lives on State Street. Um Someone's last name is K I N S Kins. K I N K I N S. Um Sink. Someone's last name is Sink. Hey. Um, let's see. Someone's a district attorney. Someone is getting some ink. I just heard. Uh, someone's favorite team are the Knicks. There's an L. Uh, Stokes. I just heard the name Stokes. Like the last name. Logic X. Don't know what that means. Logics. Logic X. Okay. Uh, someone likes to fight. Could be like a boxer. Fight. Someone works for FedEx. I was trying to get some names here, but they're giving me... Q-A-E-T. Q-A-E-T. I don't know what that means. I guess that's a name. Q-A-E-T. I don't even know if you can say that. Keith. But it's spelled Q-A-E-T-H. There you go. Keith. That's a cool way to spell a Keith. Q-A-E-T-H. Keith. Okay, wow. If you have a name like that, that's a cool name. I really like that. That's very clever. Um, okay, someone's name is Tay, T-A-E. Uh, Wyatt, I just heard Wyatt. Someone gets called Goldie. Okay. Kibbit. Kibbit. K I B B I T. Kibbits. Kibbles and kibbits and kibbles and bits. I don't know. Is something for your cat? Um, Maeve. Maeve. M A E V E. Or Maeve. Or Maeve. Maeve. I'm just, I'm just seeing. Maeve. And Mike. Or Mickey. Or Michael. Or Mick. Mick, Mickey. Oh, there's um, someone, Mac. There may be their first name, M-A-C, Mac. 
Mac something. Mac Henry, MacDonald. Maximilian or Max. Maybe the name is Max. TK, I'm just hearing. Okay, I think that's it. That's all I'm coming up with right now. I didn't even see that. Oh. Moxie? Mox. Is it Mox or Knox? Could be somebody's last name. Mox or Knox. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you. So if any of that resonated, you know, Virgo, I hope you manifest your dreams and your wishes and get to that place you want to be. And if anybody wants to help me with my math tutoring and calculus and all that stuff give me a shout send me an email <laughs> i could use the help all right love you guys bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye